Leo. Welcome to Joy Says Healing 22. My name is Kalila Joy. Thank you for visiting my channel. Thank you for the like, share, and subscribe. We're going to do a message for Leos. We want to get a message from your ancestors and spirit and or spirit of both. Oh. And um, I'm going to get some information about your love life. This is a timeless reading. And thank you for all the donations, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for helping um, struggling small business owner by keeping the community business center open out here in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Shout out to all my friends and or family, soul family that's watching this and supporting the channel. I like to get right on into the message because I don't like long readings. And um, it's pretty slow today, so I figured that we just tap on in, all right? Okay. Holy Spirit, ancestors, spirit of the living God, what is the overall message for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and or North Node? What is the messages for my Leo? Some of you could be saying 12, 12, angel number 12, 12. I think that's something that had to do with a uh, divine love. I mean, ugh, I was about to say twin flame. You can look up that number 12, 12. At the bottom of the deck, you got choose your battle wisely. On the other side, it says go for it. Okay, so spirit is... Um, it's saying that some of you need to um, check out the number 1212 and see what the angels or ancestors is trying to let you know. It has something to do with going for it and choosing your battles wisely, okay? What else do we have for my Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and or now no, from my ancestors and collective. We got here. Ah, Lord, I'm running out of space over here. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in any loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. So it is. So if you've been feeling powerless or um, I just heard them in your life or holding back, your angels and your ancestors want you to know that they got your back and it's okay to be powerful. Stand in your power in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself, okay? So do not participate in no low vibration shit. That's why I choose your battles wisely was here and I'm about to put that on top of here. Choose your battles wisely. Look up the angel number 1212 and go for it. Okay, that, that makes sense. So why this is, uh, was at the bottom or whatever and the top of the deck. Go for it. Choose your battles wisely. Be powerful in a positive way, in a loving way. You know how to be powerful. So do not do not stoop low. If people choose to be low vibrational, gossip, telling lies and stories and stuff like that, it says, when I lean on my faith, of the universe, peace becomes real, okay? You are at peace, stand in peace. When they, go, when they go low, you go high, okay? You too smart for this shit. You know better, okay? Defensiveness. Hear others' people perspective and feelings shift your focus to them. It's not always about you, okay? Oh, well, we started off over here first. Let's look at your money. What's going on with your money? What's going on with Leo's and their money? Child fell out in reverse. Somebody um, probably found out that, that he, the child they're providing for is not theirs. What's going on with Leo and money? Yeah, somebody about to go on a new journey. Either someone to stop being childish when it comes to their money 
or they're or I'm picking up somebody um found out a child wasn't theirs and they're leaving and going on a new journey and they're no longer about to be supporting this child. Yeah, somebody was in jail or could be going to jail or is facing jail because of child support, which was affecting their stability. Somebody is thinking about you. Oh, somebody could be in spiritual um, jail or going through some karma because they, did, they refused to take care of their child or... Or this could be a child's father that's in jail too regarding your money. Somebody is thinking about you, courthouse. Some type of changes is about to happen with your money. Maybe you're, maybe with the child in reverse, you quit spending your money on um, childish things or childish kind of behavior. So you, somebody about to go on a new path um others are getting worried about this and about your stability now someone's thinking about you maybe they're going maybe they're having some legal issues don't loan no money to nobody or you're about to, or someone is about to invest in you and things are about to change something is about to change regarding a child or a behavior that is childish when it comes to money all right, let's look further into this. Leo, sun, moon, and rising. What's going on with their money? This fell out with this childish. Oh, okay. So we got a king of wands here in the upright. Yeah, somebody is moving forward passionately. Spirit of Sam, move forward passionately when it comes to your money or your money endeavors. Okay. Um, stop being immature when making decisions. Again, this could be a masculine energy that found out a child wasn't there and they're no longer providing for it or they're going through child support or somebody's trying to take them to court for child support or whatever to affect their stability. What is this? This new path, move forward passionately, get out your head about this. There's nothing else to think about. Spirit already, you already got the messages. You already got the guidance. Trust God and keep it moving. Why is imprisonment here? Somebody try oh somebody trying to keep you Lord with the ace of pentacles and the ace of um page of pentacles in reverse with an imprisonment card. It looked like somebody was trying to um either spiritually or financially keep somebody trapped with a child. Oh shit. You are not the father. Or if you are the father, somebody was trying to do that and keep somebody financially um, trapped by using a child. What is house? I just heard, oh yeah, somebody want to come and apologize. I just heard somebody want to come also want to come apologize for not being there or providing for a child. Oh God, that's a lot. Oh, oh, mm -mm. Yeah, could be dealing with a Leo. They're trying to hold back, but not that they losing the strength to you to see you some type of wish for filming. Yeah, this person been burdened. Oh Lord. Oh, here we go. I swear this is why I only do this shit when I'm pretty much led to. I could not do this tarot on a regular basis. This is just too much energy, I swear. Yeah, somebody burdened because they're not moving forward. I just heard karma. Somebody's getting karma for not being there for a child. Somebody, I heard somebody was was not there for their biological child but taking care of the bitch's child, yeah. So yeah, somebody is healing. Now they want some type of new beginning. Or they see you healing. They see you healing and um, having some type of new, new beginning with the thoughts here. Yeah. Mm -mm. Lord have mercy. Um, somebody doing some type of research? 
or you may be doing some type of research. With the go forward and the choose your battles wisely, Spirit has told me don't overthink it. Heal, rest. Stop burdening yourself by not moving forward. Just, just go for it and learn as you go. Business plans are good. They are the blueprint, but things always change. So I always tell people, especially with business, yes, you need a business plan. You know, yes, you need to probably do a SWOT analysis, but at the end of the day, don't spend too much time on making sure that it's perfect. I don't know where that's coming from because you will find yourself stagnant. Somebody could have been sending you spiritual attacks to keep you from focusing on your abundance. Some childish person. Take will resonate. Like I said, I'm picking up on one person energy where somebody is not the father. And they're no longer confused about this and they're not they dropping this burden and they're not moving forward. That's fucked up. Yeah, somebody in bondage could also be blocked because they refuse to take care of a child. They've been spiritually blocked. This person could be locked up in jail with the courthouse and the prison here. So this could be somebody's husband or child's father that's in jail. Somebody going back and telling this person information about your money and your abundance. They're watching you. They're watching your new beginning. Be aware that someone is probably going to try to conquer up some type of lawsuit. If you've been feeling weak or not sure what path to go, like I said, spirit said, get out your head and just go for it. Oh God, we got we got low battery already. What's this? This is sticking out. Yep, ten of pentacles. You about to get some type of new offer, some new beginning. As soon as you come out your head and go for this opportunity or this idea, yes, you're gonna get some type of victory. Mm-hmm. I heard victory is mine. Victory is mine. Uh, uh, blah blah blah. I don't know all the words. <laughs> That's an old hymn in church. Uh, Oh, him or whatever. Okay, let's look at your love line. Holy Spirit, ancestors, the Spirit of the Living God. What is the uh, messages for Leo's love life? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and or North Node. What is the messages for Leo with their love life? I'm gonna break another deck, a different deck up here. Okay, I'm going to take a high feel. Girl with a snake in reverse. So we got a karmic energy that was trying to snake you or feminine energy, empath, narcissist, paradigm, being charmed and used. Enable boundaries. Okay, so you're no longer being allowing yourself. Yeah, with the coffee, you put an ending to being used. And because you did that, something is about to transform. Being lighthearted, find out. Things coming to light, adopt to change and heal. Mm-hmm. That's what's up, Leo. Fuck all that. So, yeah, it's a sudden change, shocking news, a surprise. So, I just heard engagement. Or somebody want to propose some type of relationship. The sword and the rose. That's the sword of truth, isn't it? Clarity, truth, revelation, celerity, force, honor, protection. Yep. So. There's an edit too, yeah. You put it in somebody, a feminine energy, or you a collective, whoever's watching. I'm going to stop. Um, 
put an ending to being charmed and or used. And because you did this, you are now healing, transforming. Any more messages? Sabotage, rebuilding, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Yeah. Hammer. Mm-hmm. I just said wedding rings. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're about to come in union with somebody. Someone who's going to help you heal your heart from heartbreak because you freed yourself from a toxic relationship or addiction. You or someone is doing this that's in your energy. Mm -hmm. Somebody is heartbroken, deeply sad and regretful, feeling the loss. I'm like, so what? Okay, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Whatever. Or you could have been this at one time, but with the girl with the snake in reverse, this co codependent paradigm, I'm getting the feeling that, you know, you was a part of the person who was being used or shrunk along or dealing with some type of person who tried to do that to you or tried to do this to a divine being. Yeah, with the Knight of Cups, somebody coming in and offer some type of apology or love offer. came out in the upright, so I'm assuming this person is not a karmic. Any reverse court cards is a karmic energy to me. I mean, it's up to you. What is this coffin? Yeah, somebody wanna... What the fuck? Lovers. Lovers with the coffin card. Okay. So somebody wanna come in and make some type of love offer because... Uh... They want to make a decision. I just heard, I choose you, baby. Oh, Lord. Yeah, the strength card at the bottom of the day, you could be dealing with another Leo, or this is your card. Somebody's coming in. I think you release yourself from the karmic energy of allowing people to use you. And because you did that, now you have a love offer coming in. You are able to give and receive healthy love, not codependent love. Dragon, be lighthearted. Find out things coming to light. What is coming to light? If somebody's coming coming in with a love offer, but something's going to come to light. Or somebody realized their love for you. We're going to see. What is this? This card don't got no business in here. Queen rising. Yeah. Some, oh, well, this person probably came to light this uh, and recognized you as their divine counterpart. Or their soulmate. Somebody realized that. Oh, Lord. Oh, we got the Princess of Cup. Another water sign. Somebody realized that they was immature. Or their behavior was immature. Mm-hmm. With the Three of Swords. Yep. Yeah. Betrayal could have been a third party situation. Well, be aware this person is still mature and there is a third party around. If this is someone new or and or old, it don't matter. Yeah, somebody sabotaged this relationship by bringing third parties involved. <sighs> Not somebody want to get married or union. What is that? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person want to work with you. Okay. Will of Fortune. Things aren't going to move in your favor. You and this person might. Oh. Hi. How can I help you? Yeah, you put it on the counter. Sent to me here, and now I want to send it back home. Okay. So we got to change this label, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I came here for a conference. I had a bunch of stuff that I want to put in my suitcase, so I'm going to send it back home. Okay. Well, it might be cheaper. 
nor their for it. Oh yeah. They will charge you a thousand dollars for for any additional weight products and stuff like well, yeah, that. Yeah, one more suitcase, another forty bucks. Uh huh. All right. So you leaving all great Michigan back? Yeah, I'm back home. Going back home? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've had a great time. I love Michigan. Oh, that's cool. Did you get a chance to catch the air show? No, we were here at a big uh, apprenticeship contest, and so I was kind of trapped for eight days. The apprenticeship? What kind of apprenticeship? Performers, pipe fitters, steam fitters. Oh, that national, sounds fun. Yeah, the national contest was the year it was here. Really? Yeah. Oh, that sounds yeah. fun. Yeah, it was. I was seeing all these young guys. Uh-huh. Taking charge. Now, I do have an account with that. I don't know if that matters or not. Well, the thing is, because I am not a corporate store, I cannot log into your account and deal with it. All right. Does that make sense? Kind of. Yeah, I'm just, I mean, we are authorized shippers, but I'm just telling you I'm not a corporate store. All right. All right, so I can't do air bills. If you do the air bill before you come here, and you know, submit it to them and then tape it on there. I can just scan it and get you the record. No, if you do it regular, it doesn't have to be FedEx. It's you know, whatever is the least expensive way. Okay, well, we got it in a FedEx box, so let's keep it that way. Yeah, All right. and FedEx says we're trying to compete with the United States Postal Service, ladies. So, um, I'll try and send you a deal so you can keep the lights on here. <laughs> It's really important to have a post office, post service. Yes, it is. <laughs> What's your first name, sir? Clancy, C L A N C Y. Kelly, K E L L Y. Okay, address? 109 Northeast 127th Circle. start on Saturday and they just finished this morning. Okay. And then I got here on Tuesday to help set it up. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So, uh, where are we sending it to? 109. That's the, where we're sending it to my home address. Oh, okay. I still have the gig. Okay. All right, so let's do it again, Clancy, because I already put it as from. So you send it from yourself to yourself. To myself. <laughs> Clancy, last name? Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y. 109 Northeast 127th Circle.
Those of you allowed to join, don't wake up. Sure. <laughs> Those of you allowed to join. Thank you. Uh, that's for all packaging when you need to do the USPS or whatever comes out in there? Well, we, yeah, we're trying to um, print a label, right? Print a label. It's not the USPS. It's all the same. All the same. It's fine. The printer is the problem. The printer is not the problem. Oh. Hmm. Jeez, and a week. You see it look black again? It might not be the printer, it could be the POS system, this whole computer system is crazy. Thank you. 
No. Is there a spot, another spot close by? Which camera are you watching? The Chronicle. Chronicle. 
a couple of labels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two of them pushed in there. Right, oh, my poor souvenir. <laughs> what? I got your tracking number on there. There, um, because it's coming from our location, All right. that's why I store address on there, but it is registered All right. under you. This number here, right? That's the tracking number that you would use. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Just look for when the numbers on these things are coming in. Oh, that it says TRK. Okay, well, I hope the rest of your day goes just as smoothly. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right, bye now. Bye bye. Oh my god, are we still going? 
Oh, wow. That printer was not fucking working for me. I am so sorry. Okay, Leo. I forgot I, forgot I was doing your fucking reading. Yeah, you put your foot down about some sabotaging behavior, about some three of swords energy. Somebody tr tried to betray you. We got the three of pentacles here. Now they want to work with you and come into union. Looks like these, um, either you, I'm picking up on this once upon a time that somebody tried to get you in a third party situation. Now they saying they choose you. They probably chose some immature person or they was immature about it. And, um, and you found out the truth. You, I just heard you was very lighthearted when this person tried to uh, put you in competition. But now I'm getting the spirit that this person chose you. They put an ending to their, I just heard they put an ending to their childish, childish, childish behavior. Oh my God. Are we at fucking retrograde? I think so. Oh Lord. Yeah, somebody need to make some type of decision and speak some type of truth. We got the two of cups. In reverse, this could be a karmic soul. Uh, uh, speak a truth to a karmic soulmate. I just about to say that, but the Empress in reverse. Yes, yes. Yeah, somebody who came off as abundant, or um, I could say you want to say maybe um, caring and giving. Mm hmm. You hold um, you holding back your love from this individual too. They did. Because they, like I said, they, they're dealing with a karmic lover in reverse. The, whatever it, it may be, you are the, um, you are a divine feminine or masculine. Somebody's coming in to offer this cup of love. I just heard they choose you. I like the lovers in the upright. That means, you know, somebody need to make a choice. And, and that is, that clarified with the two of swords. Yeah, somebody, um, I have to put an ending or has put an ending to a third party situation or a heartbreaking or a heartbreaking. It don't necessarily have to be third party or a heartbreaking situation, but we got three, three here. And um, now things are about to move into your uh, favor. I don't know if this is the person you're dealing with or somebody new. Okay. Matter of fact, let's ask that. If you stay, you deserve to know that. Is this um, somebody from the past or somebody new? Okay. Is this is somebody new or somebody from the past. Got the Three of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, the Devil. Yeah, this is somebody from the past. Somebody who want to renew or rekindle a relationship with you. They detaching themselves from the devil. We got all these threes, three, three, three out here. This person could have a um, life path three or you could be a life path three. Yeah, things are moving in your favor. This person is slowly coming in. I just heard that cock complaining because you probably put set up some type of boundaries or like you, or you put the hammer down regarding this love situation because they try to get you involved in the third party. Again, I am so sorry, Leo. I cannot edit this video fast forward. Do whatever you do. You about to get some type of victory and money. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, this could be a twin flame. I know a 1212 is the number of a twin flame or divine counterparts. You can look it up or whatever. But spirit is telling you to go for it and choose your battles wisely. Open yourself up. If this is a new project, a new job, new business venture, it's going to work out. Do your study and do your research one thing at a time. Yes, have a plan, business plan. Yes, have some type of blueprint, but don't don't try to over. You know, like I tend to overanalyze, which can be a barrier and a good thing. You know, because it can keep you stuck. But that means that you pay attention to detail. But you're going to get some type of abundance and offer. Okay, thank you, y'all, you guys. Peace out. I'm sorry about this, Leo. God damn.